Hey, Javon, obviously being a local guy from Proviso East coming back and putting on that Bulls jersey, how special is that for you? And how do you think you can impact the team with your ability to guard 94 feet and, and be an outlet as a three-point shooter? Um, putting on this uniform is very special. You know, it's something I've always dreamed about um, as a little kid growing up. So to be able to come to come up here and sit here in front of you guys with this jersey on is <laughs> and to play with Vooch, you know. Uh, <laughs> but um yeah, that's it's definitely exciting. You know, um, can't wait to get out there and play. And as far as just the second part of your question, you know, I just feel like what I bring to the table is gonna really help this team, you know, and whatever else I can do off the court, on the court, I just wanna win. So whatever they need me to do, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Hey, Javon, obviously a big storyline in the NBA is what Boston and Milwaukee have done over the last week, and you obviously know one of those franchises very well. Kind of what are your thoughts overall about those teams and where you guys sit in the Eastern Conference landscape? Thoughts on, the, on, the, on Milwaukee and Boston? Um, I don't really care. I'm a Chicago Bull. Not really thinking about Boston or Milwaukee. Um, it's hard to say. Season hasn't started yet. Got to wait and see. Javon, you played against this team several times in the last couple seasons. What weaknesses did you see in them, and how can you help shore up some of those weaknesses? Um, just reluctant to shoot. You know, um, I feel like they they think about it too much. You know, uh, instead of just taking what's there. You know. But one thing I do love about them is their defense, you know, so every game they play, it's always going to be a close game because they always going to guard. And it's just just playing free, you know, not not thinking about it too much, taking the shot when it's there, not hesitating, you know, just everybody being aggressive. Hey, Javon, uh, we heard from Billy and Arturas about the point guard position battle that's going to be happening throughout the preseason. How do you approach that and what do you feel like you bring to that position? How do I approach it? Um, I just come in and do me. You know, uh, coaches, coaches got a coach. You know, my job is to come in here and be the best that I can be, and his job is to coach and put us in the best position to go out there and win. And we do our job. We should have the best chance to win. J- Javon, going back to what you thought you saw as a weakness, how much can you as a point guard kind of help address that by getting guys the shots in the right places, you know, the big, th- you know, DeMar, Zach, and Vucher, all different kind of players. How, how can you kind of get them to where they need to be? Um, just being vocal, you know, um, letting guys know, don't pass up the, the open shots, the right shots, you know, trying to go, go force a shot that's more comfortable for you or, or a, a better shot, you know, for your rhythm. But it's like basketball is a team game. So if we need you to shoot certain shots, then as a team, we need you to take those shots. So, I mean, we're all capable. It's not like nobody here can't shoot. You know, it's just what we feel comfortable with doing. It's just something we just got to work with over time and just stand on guys, letting them know, like, those are the shots that you need to take for us to win and take that next step. Javon, Javon, you talk about, um, obviously, your approach to the point guard competition. Obviously, one of those guys that you're going to be competing with is your teammate, Ayo, who's from Chicago as well. Talk about that Chicago connection and how um, maybe exciting or challenging it could be to go against someone that is from the same area as you. Um, it's definitely going to be exciting. You know, um, I know he got that same chip on the shoulder that I do. It's just something you just have growing up playing in the city of Chicago. You know, I feel like we all have it, like guys like Patrick Beverly. You know, y'all, I'm sure y'all seen him coming here and had that same chip on his shoulder last year. It's just something that you just have playing here, and, you know. And like I said earlier, like, I'm just going to let Coach make the decision. I'm going to show up, do what I got to do, and whether you start, come off the bench, it really don't matter. I'm just trying to win. Javon, this team was the only team in the league last year not to attempt 33-point attempts a uh, a game. And you you shot a high percentage last year. It was your first time going over four per game. I know the game kind of presents the shots. Bless you. Yeah. I know the game tells you what shots to take. But how much did did either Billy or management talk to you about kind of helping in that department is getting more three-point shots up on the board? Um, We've talked about it a little bit. But one player is not going to change your whole, your whole team, you know what I'm saying? So it, 
it got to be a, a team thing. We got to be able to come in there and and take those shots. You know, like we just have to be comfortable, make or miss. If it's the right shot, shoot it. It don't matter. Just let it fly. Be comfortable. It's a long season. It's a long game. We're going to need threes. Javon, the last couple of seasons on the outside looking in, it seemed like this team didn't really have a vocal leader, at least out in front in public. Is that a role you think that you can feel? Like, you seem like a no-nonsense type of guy. Are you comfortable, you know, kind of calling what it is when it needs to be said? Yeah, I am. Uh, I, I think I just need to do a better job in learning how to deliver the message. You know, because everybody's different. Not everybody um, take everything the same way. So it's just learning the guys and seeing what they like, don't like. But I can't say I will be a vocal leader for this team. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to voice my opinion. Uh, Javon, um, I wanted to settle this question once and for all. Uh, you're from Chicago. Who's simply better, West Side ball players or South Side ball players? West Side, come on now. <laughs> Javon, a three point shot with this team is a big deal. Uh, you mentioned seeing some players hesitate last season, but what went, in your, what went into your development from the three point line? You've been known as a defender, but then last year you got a big jump in three point shooting, especially from transition threes or one of your development um the development uh honestly just being out there you know last year was my first time I've I played a full season you know um I always start playing and then I always find myself out the rotation so it was, it was, it was always kind of hard for me to find that balance and just being able to play a full season finally like I was able to really show who I really am, and honestly, that's that's who I am. Like any Javon at any level, that's how I play. And now, it was it was on full display last year. Coming back home, being a Chicago Bull, what does this mean to you? What would you tell your younger self about this moment? <laughs> Wouldn't believe it, honestly. Uh, it would just be a dream, something I just wish would happen. Some I would go on 2K and create me a player and put him on the Bulls and have him number five starting at the point guard position. Whew. Uh, <laughs> I can't even I can't even really describe like how I feel honestly. Like I just I just want to get out there. I'm just so eager to play honestly and just let my game speak for itself. Javon, talk about the mentorship component that you can bring to a young backcourt like the Kobe Whites and the Ios that you'll be competing against. Talk, obviously, you'll be competing against them for a, a starting job. But talk about the mentorship component you could bring to the team. Um, Just giving them my experiences. You know, um, I've been in this league a few years, been on a few different teams, played with a bunch of stars, and um, just giving them the day-to-day the -day habits, it, what it takes to be great, you know, what it takes to sustain, to, to stay in this league, and to be consistent. You know, it's just waking up every day, coming here, working like yesterday never happened. You know, every day is a new day.